like this. I also put as tight as possible right for right now. For me, this one is the Alpha Light C clamp, and you need a five millimeter Allen tool for it. Okay. Next, you want to flip the bike. And for now, right now, we're going to put together the cranks with the pedals and the sprocket. Okay, there's a three piece crank, but it's stuck here. So, but it's the same thing you gotta do for both sides, so it won't really matter. Get the dry side that you want, so you could put the sprocket on. And you put it like that, right there. Grab the bolt and tighten it. Okay, there it's aligned with. Next, what you want to do is you gotta know where the drive side is, which for me it's right hand drive. So you stick this, which is the left crank, and you grab this spacer. Wait, wrong spacer. Well, it's not a space, but it acts like it. You put it here. But also you want the small spaces in between it, like these. For me, I have two on it. Then this. Then you want to stick it to a BB. Make sure it doesn't hit the frame like that keep it spaced because you don't want it to mess up your frame and you do the same for the other side you grab this for me I have it with the flange from one of the grips and so the cracks don't spin around so you put it like this right there then you put this on the on the on the spindle then you grab the crank make sure it's aligned with the other one because you you'll f you'll notice it's really bad when they're not aligned so make sure they're like parallel Yeah, like I'm, right now I'm doing it wrong. So. There. Then you grab this and the bolt, put them together, and you want to put it on the hole from the crank and tighten it. Then you tighten it with the Allen, a six millimeter. Most times you'll be able to tighten it better when, when the pedals are on, so we'll go to that right now. Each pedal has a sign, a little letter saying if they're right hand or the left, so if the R is the right side and the right side is the one where the, where the sprocket is, so you put it in this side. Finger tighten it first. Then you want to get your tool. For this, it's a 15 millimeter. 
Yeah, first thing. Put it as tight as you can also. Oh, and you gotta remember also most things, you want them with grease so they don't get messed up. And for the other pedal, you still gotta do the same thing. Okay, next thing you want to do is put the front rim, front wheel. And if you want to put the peg right now, put it, you can also put it later. Make sure it's not crooked because then you're gonna have to go back to it and the reason why you put the front one first because if you put it in the back then it's gonna fall well it's not gonna be like even and it's gonna tilt and go like that and then it could fall while you're working on it and you don't want that next you put the back one it's the same thing as the front one Don't tighten it as much because you gotta put the chain on. And I'm gonna show you how to put it right now. For a chain, you need a chain breaker, which is this, and the actual chain. The one that I have is a half length chain and what you want to make sure is to put it